Hey guys, Player One here. Today we're going to talk about Telltale Games' The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead is based off of a comic book series of the same name, written by Robert Kirkman. Now that comic book series has spawned novels, other video games, as well as a very popular TV show on AMC. The television show takes place in an alternate timeline from the comics, whereas Telltale's The Walking Dead takes place in the same timeline, and it actually runs parallel to the events in the first issue. The game starts off and you're playing as Lee Everett, a professor. Now early on he finds a young girl named Clementine and the main purpose from that point forward is to help reunite Clementine with her parents who are missing in Savannah. The Walking Dead is a character driven game. It's heavy on story and therefore you need characters that are deep and believable. Luckily we have these in abundance. Voice acting is top drawer right from the main characters down to the bit roles that we see. Here's an example of some of the many characters you can find in this game. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I gotta look out for my family. I gotta know that whoever I take with me is gonna be looking out for Cat and Duck. Wait, I know that- Lee, you left Duck in danger twice. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. The game is broken up into five episodes, which make up season one. Now, when it was initially released on the PlayStation Network and Xbox Live, you had the opportunity to buy each episode at a price of five dollars a piece, or for those with a PlayStation, you could buy all five ahead of time for twenty dollars. I like this game delivery method because it gives you the opportunity to try something out for $5 and you get 3-4 to four hours of gameplay per episode. If you decide you don't like it after the first one, there's no obligation to keep buying more. But if you do like it, you can keep going. This is a much preferable method uh, of game delivery, in my opinion, as opposed to releasing a $60 game on Tuesday and at the same time having 11 DLCs, including two story missions. What I would really like to see, uh, whether it be through Telltale Studios, who did a fantastic job with it, or another game, it would be that to take the, the elements of tabletop role-playing. Uh, from Dungeons & Dragons, everybody who played will remember that you'd have that same character throughout all your adventures. And when you finish one campaign, you would just start up another one. Same character, same level, same equipment. Now, if you could do that with a character... Uh, or a group of characters, if you wanted to do it with multiplayer or have online capabilities, you could do release an episode that's a campaign, have a starting village, uh, throw in a couple of side quests and a little main quest in a cave somewhere, and have it end, you know, level 5, 6. There's no reason to be level 30 at the end of every game. And this would give you the opportunity to carry on. I know myself, I play a lot of role-playing games, and I especially find that when I'm getting towards the end and I can sense that it's almost over, sometimes I won't push that extra bit to get that last chest, or to explore that last room if I see a fight coming up that I think may be the end. However, if I knew that in three months I'd be playing as that same character again, I might be a little more interested in exploring all the content that each game had. Gameplay for The Walking Dead is not action-oriented. In fact, it's very low on action. So that tends to make the scenes when you do have to be a little more quick-reacting and fast-thinking that much more intense. Because most of the time, you've got a methodical, slow pacing to the story. And this game is all about story. The story of The Walking Dead is so deep and engaging that my girlfriend actually sat along with me and watched me play all five episodes. She jumped at the parts that were supposed to make her jump, and she got attached to the characters just as much as I did. When the game was over and the final scene was rolling, she even uh, poked a little fun at me because I got a little teared up uh, at the end of the game. I tend to get emotionally attached to my video game characters, and this one was one that I didn't want to see end. The graphics for The Walking Dead closely resemble the graphics of the comics, and it's a nice touch because you sort of feel like you're playing through an interactive comic. 
It's a point and click game with puzzle solving and a deep story that you're going to follow along and get drawn into. And it's nice that it also resembles the comic book world that a lot of us know very well. If you're a fan of Telltale Games, if you're a fan of The Walking Dead, or if you just like good stories with deep characters and puzzle solving games, this is the game for you. If what you're looking for is a run and gun shoot 'em up Dead Rising type, this probably isn't what you're into. Uh, however, The Walking Dead I, it, it has won Game of the Year awards for many titles, uh, many websites, and I just I can't I can't agree more that it's a fantastic game. I love the method of delivery. Uh, I love everything about it, and I'm very much looking forward to season two. That was the Cartridge Brothers review of Telltale Games of The Walking Dead, and hopefully you liked it. This is Player One signing off.